Great Hobbs, welcome back to question three. Guys, I had a look at this question. I attempted it and it was one of the easiest questions that you can possibly get. I mean, out of everything that I've seen so far, question one was fairly easy. Well, okay, it was, it was fine. Question one was manageable. Question two is the last question that's a bit tricky. Um, question three, guys, you had to take the 10 marks home. You had to take the 10 marks home. So maybe the only thing that made it a bit difficult was nothing, nothing. Okay, but I'm not here to look down on anyone or, you know, to make anyone feel discouraged. Um, this is what happened, guys. The diagram, it was not even necessary. Okay, the table, not even necessary. All these details were not even necessary. Only these numbers here, that's only those numbers mattered. The reason why I'm saying so is because the question says the depth of a to torpedo, uh, whatever you want to call it, um, basically it's like a, it's like a, it's like a bomb, right? Okay, uh, is they below sea level, right? Okay, the important statement here is that um, its depth of that torpedo uh, below sea level, right, forms a quadratic number pattern. The depth here is the depth. What does it do? It forms a quadratic number pattern when you are taking the ground level as zero meters. Okay. And then they're saying that a submarine tracked a torpedo in one second intervals. We don't even need that. Okay. So now the following question is saying calculate the depth of the torpedo at the end of the first five seconds. Well, what you will do is you are going to treat, see, yeah, that's why they said one second. You are going to treat your seconds as if they are your term positions. And then you are, you are going to treat, um, you're going to treat your meters as, as your, 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 your terms. Okay. Your terms, the, the seconds will be the position of the terms. Okay. This is what I mean. We are going to treat 36 as T1. So 36. And what else? We have 71 and we have 104. And then remember, they said it's a quadratic. They already made it easy for you. They said it's a quadratic. So T1 is after one second, T2 after two seconds, T3 after, you see, um, T4 and then T5. They want T5, which is five seconds. Okay. Okay. I'm sure if you got this question right, um, you felt, you know, motivated as you are progressing through the question, right? Now let's get to it. They said it's a quadratic. So what do we need? We need to find out what the first difference is. So 30, 71 minus 36 is going to give us 35, right? We're going to have 35 and then 104 minus 71 is going to give us 33, right? And then now we need to move forward. So 33 over here. Uh, what is the const What is the second difference? The second difference is going to be minus two. Guys, this question here, it didn't ask you anything about the, between which two consecutive terms, you know, it just had to look like this. I mean, that's, that's, that's what they think. That's what they did to make the question look difficult, but it wasn't. Now let's go ahead and find out our T5, which is uh, the depth after, after five seconds. If you're new to my channel, please care to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We already did the other two questions. I forgot to say that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and find out the fourth term. So we're going to say 33, right? What we'll say, we'll say 33 minus two, right? Minus two here. We are going to get 31, right? And then we will say one zero, cause look here, over here from three, from 36 to 71, we added 35. That's what we're going to do. From 71 to, th from 71 to 104, we added 33. Now from 104, we're going to add 31 to get the next term, which is going to be 105. Okay, and then we're going to subtract 2 from 31. We're going to get 29. Okay, and then from 105 to T5, we need to add. Right, we are adding. So we're going to say 105 um, plus 29, we get 164. 164. That is T5. T5 is going to be 164. Okay, uh, T5, T5 is going to be 164. You can leave it like that. Now, let's go ahead and prove that this is the answer to the equation. Let's find out the general term. So to do that, we know, we know, right, so far that we're going to equate the second difference to 2a. So 2a is going to be equal to minus 2 
therefore a is going to be equal to okay okay we have two there we have minus two there we're going to divide by two divide by two therefore a is going to be equal to minus one guys that is how we found out our a now let's go and find out our b so we're going to say three a plus b is equal to 35 right our b is going to be okay uh, let me not even say that let's just say three times minus one plus b is equal to 35 and what we have we are going to have b is equal to 35 because this is minus three on the left hand side will be plus three over here b is going to be equal to 38 now let's just do the other one the c right here at the bottom a plus b plus c is equal to 36 now uh let's find out a is minus one plus 38 plus c is equal to 36 now 38 minus 1 is going to be 37. Therefore, C is going to be 36. If we have 30, okay, 38 minus 1 is 37 on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, it will be minus 37. Therefore, C will be equal to minus 1. Voila. Guys, that is how we were supposed to just get that. So now what we know that the general, okay, excuse me. Uh, let me just erase the whole thing here right because we dealt with that we don't need it anymore we now know the general rule and we actually calculated it now that means that our t because the uh the standard form is tn is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c what we'll have to do is just substitute a is minus one so we're just going to say minus n squared b is uh plus 38 so we're just going to say plus 38 n and our c is minus one minus one therefore tn is equal to that now we have already clocked that question for three marks. Moving on, I'm going to leave this question over here, this uh, table, I mean this first statement over here because we're going to need it. Okay, and here's how. The following parts, guys, they are asking us to find out the maximum depth of the torpedo. So what do we do when we're calculating the maximum height? We are going to treat this quadratic, because it's a quadratic equation, quadratic equation gives us what a parabola and this one is going to be a sad face because a is negative now the maximum depth will be the turning point of that so we just need to find the x value of the turning point in this case it's going to be our n because we are looking for uh we, we are solving for n so because if we were using a car a quadratic the usual if we had x and x over there we're going to say x is equal to Right, so over here we're going to say another way that you could do it is to find the derivative of this and equate the derivative to zero because you're looking for a maximum point. But I'm going to use the quadratic, the one that we use when we're doing functions. So I'm going to say n is equal to minus, right, b, sorry, minus b, uh, okay, minus b over 2a. And what I'll get is minus 38 over 2 times minus 1 which is going to give me minus sorry not even minus is going to give me 38 divide that by 2 right our answer should be 19 right therefore our answer is going to be positive 19 that is the value of n right for the maximum depth so this is the torpedo reaches its maximum depth at 19 seconds because n is our seconds n is our seconds n is our term position which is our seconds as well because this is t1 t2 t3 so after 19 seconds it reaches the maximum but we need to get the maximum what the maximum depth we only have the maximum the time when it reaches its maximum depth so we need to get to find out what is t19 so we'll substitute 19 in the place of n so we'll say 19 squared plus 38 times 19 there minus 1 like that and we can just easily calculate that and we're going we are going to get 360 meters were we working with meters yes we were so you don't just say t19 is equal to 360 t19 is 360 meters 390 i mean after 19 seconds the torpedo reaches its maximum depth which is 360 okay um sorry about that 360 meters okay so this is 164 seconds now let's just do the last part of it to collect our final marks okay the last part of the question they want us after how many seconds does the torpedo um after how many seconds is okay wait let's see how many seconds was a torpedo at 104 
uh, meters below. Okay, so we are just for the second time. Okay, so there are two times that this torpedo is going to reach 104 seconds. Now we need to find out after how many seconds does it reach that height or the depth for the second time. So basically, we are we have to equate the general term to we have to equate the general term to 104. So we're going to say 104 is equal to n, right? Okay, uh, minus n squared plus 38, right? n minus 1. Okay, what I'll do is I'm going to take everything to the left hand side. So I'm going to have n squared minus 38 n, and then it's going to be 104 plus the one there, which will be plus 105. And I'm going to have to solve for, for n. So n. And then I'm going to say n, and then I'm going to equate that to 0. Now let's see. If we divide 105 divided by 2, we don't get anything. But if we divide 105, I mean, we do get something, but it has a, it's a fraction. 105 divided by 3, our answer is going to be 35, right? And we it's 3 times 35, right? This gives us 105. But when we add or subtract them, we're supposed to get minus 38 or 38. So both of them have to be negative, minus 35 minus 3 like that we want to find for the second time right after how many seconds does it reach 104 for the second time n is going to be equal to 35 seconds or n is going to be equal to 3 seconds so oh look at that this is the first time after 3 seconds it reaches 105 104 seconds and then sorry after 3 seconds it reaches 104 seconds sorry after three seconds it reaches 104 meters for the first time and then after 35 seconds it reaches 104 meters again for the second time so guys that was supposed to be the answer 35 seconds was supposed to be your answer for the second time hey it was that easy i think we did this video in less than five minutes okay maybe 10. okay so guys that is that for this video um sub uh, subscribe to watch the following video until we meet again then cheers